Hi, I'm Niall, I'm the Strength and Balance Instructor at Age UK Bolton. Today we're going to take you through some Strength and Balance exercises. I'm going to show you some strength exercises using a TheraBand. Here I have a green one, which is around level 3, so the difficulty level is about medium to hard pick these up online or in a good sports shop. So the first exercise is a leg extension which is going to be for your quad muscle and the knee joint so it's a front knee strengthener. It's a good exercise for if you've got arthritis of the knees or any range of movement limitations within that joint so it's to help with that as well. So you're going to place the band under the foot, sit with your back supported into the back of the chair. You're going to start by lifting the knee, pull the band nice and tight to create the resistance into your hip. And on a four count, you're going to push, keep the knee slightly bent, slowly control that movement back, bringing the knee towards the chest for another four count and back down. Relax your arms. Lift the knee again. Pull the band tight to create that tension. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one, and back down. Each rep should be nice and slow and controlled. Lifting up, pull tight. Push, keep a slight bend in that knee, slowly back, lifting the thigh up and the knee towards the chest. You'll feel that all here and down and rest between each rep. You're going to try up to 10 on each leg. If you need to and you feel like you're cramping up, you can change legs after five reps. So you're going to hold the band at the end it on the floor and then place your foot on top. You want to have your hands next to the knee joint. You just let the tails dangle out to the side. Avoid wrapping the band around your hands. Lift up from the knee first. Pull the band towards the hips to create that tension and Push away, keeping your heel close to the floor, leaving a slight bend in your knee. With that four count, come back, relax the band, put your foot down. Lift the foot, you'll feel it in your hip. Make the tension, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight and back down up to 10 reps. Once you've done that, you can rest for as long as you would like between reps, between sets, sorry. Remember, you can pause the video at any point. The next exercise is going to be an outer thigh strengthener. It's an alternative to your standing leg raise, which you can do seated. You're going to need to be in the middle of your chair for this exercise and you're going to start by taking your knees and your feet together make sure the band is untangled you're going to lie it across making sure that it's even on both sides you're going to cross the band underneath bringing it back to the top Probably wear trousers doing this exercise so you don't rip the hairs out of your legs. From there you're going to take your feet and your knees back to hip width apart so straight away you'll start to feel that tension down the side of your leg. You sit with nice posture, keeping your feet flat, you're going to push your knees outwards and control that movement slowly back width. You're going to try and keep the feet flat on the floor, so almost as if you're pushing your feet flat into the floor. As much as you can, there will be a slight lift. 
try and keep those feet flat and knee back to hip width. We're going to push for four. One, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one. Back to the start. If that's too easy, we're going to push for four. And then that tension's there and you can feel that down the side of your legs and foot into your glutes. You're going to hold for five. Four, three, two, one. And start to bring that back for four. And again, push. One, two, three, four. Knees apart, feet flat. Hold for five. Four, three, two, one and control the movement back. Three, two, one, relax there. Up to 10 reps, try whichever level you feel. From there, we're going to go into an upper back strengthener. So again, you need to be in around the middle of the chair. So you've got some elbow room. You're gonna take an underhand grip Support the band with your thumbs, don't need to squeeze it really tight and your shoulders are just going to be relaxed down the side of your body. Teaching point, you're going to sit with nice posture, keep your elbows tucked in. We're going to be working the upper back, so around where the shoulder blades are, that's the area that you'll feel it. So from there, we're going to squeeze the shoulder blades together, pulling the band apart, keeping the elbows tucked in, and then start to relax the upper back, bringing your wrists back together for 10 reps. One, two, three, four, squeezing the shoulder blades and relax. Four, three, two, one. Keep those elbows tucked in. Pull again. Two, three, four. Squeeze. And control the movement back. Control each phase of that movement. Let's make it a little bit harder now. So you're going to pull. Squeeze in the shoulder blades. Elbows tucked in. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. And Slowly back. If the resistance is a little bit too hard, just create a little bit of slack. Keep the elbows tucked in and try again. Remember, you can always change the time under tension. So the amount of time it takes you to perform each rep, either by adding a pause or by slowing down the pull and relaxing. Once you've done up to 10, remember you can pause the video, rest for around two minutes, move on to the next exercise, which is going to be a bicep curl. So for this exercise, you're gonna take it, palm of your hand, thumb facing upwards, you're gonna lie the band flat on the floor. You're doing the right bicep first, it's going to be on the outside of the right knee. Your hand needs to be starting point next to that knee and you can sit with your back a little bit more supported for this exercise. Just make sure that your foot is nice and secure on top of the band and use both feet if you're not quite sure. Okay, so bicep curl, thumb facing up, I'm going to slowly start to pull the band, keeping the elbow tucked in and pointing down towards the floor, arm up to your shoulder, slowly lowering down, making sure that band's nice and secure under your foot. Make sure that your footwear that you're wearing doesn't have a big arch underneath. Lifting up, slowly down and again we're going to use that four count for the time under tension so you're going to lift for four three two one down for four three 
to one, up to ten reps. If you want to make it harder, you can either slide your hand a little bit lower, make more tension, up for four, three, two, one, down for four, three, two, one, harder still, pull up, four, three, two, one, start to lower your arm down, and once you get to about halfway, you're going to pause for five, four, three, two, one, and control the rest of the way down. And you should feel that here in the front of your arm, which is your bicep. Once you've done up to 10 reps, you're just going to lift up, place the band in your other hand, lie it flat, make sure it's nice and secure under your feet. Hand next to your knee, sitting with nice posture, and slowly pull. And down. Try to keep your arm by your side, elbow tucked in, pointing downwards. We really want to focus on isolating the bicep muscle. So if your arm's lifting away from your body, it's going to start to bring other muscles into the movement which we don't want. Up to 10 reps on each arm. Give it a try.